the one for some more of my Mario and Mario Maker World Series for Super Mario Maker 2. And I'm going to be doing another video like I did previously in the series. You know how I played all Ghost House levels with Luigi? Today I'm going to be playing all Desert levels from all the different styles, but I'm going to be playing as Mario. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is probably the first time I've played as Mario on this channel for Mario Maker 2. I could be very wrong about that, but... It just doesn't seem like I've played Mario as Mario at all on this channel. But uh, this will be the opportunity for me to do so. By the way, I hope you guys have an awesome Sunday so far. But yeah, I figured I'd be playing as Mario for a change since I believe uh, most of the time I play as Peach. I mean, as Toad and Toadette, but I figured I'd play as Mario. And we'll get started here with this level by Vash88 from the US, and this is called Scorching Sands. It's a standard theme stage, and it's classic Mario platforming. Red coins are optional. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. And there he is, the main man himself, Mario. And of course, Chocolate, I uh, Chocolate Island is the closest thing that Mario World had to a desert world. And even in it, was, it really wasn't that much of a desert world. It was more like a mountain world. Or should I say, a mountain area. Checkpoint hype? Of course, the coins mark where the protobos are. This reminds me of that one level in um, New Super Mario Bros. U with the giant fire bars, but instead of fire bars, the protobos. I think I'm missing some red coins. It says they're optional, so I'm not going to be too bent out of shape if I miss a couple. Okay, I do see there's an area up here. Which I'm gonna go ahead and explore. Okay, there's two. Yeah, there has been one in that first area that I missed. It, it's probably a bonus area with filled with coins and one ups if I had to guess. Should go back real quick and see if I can find it. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's start over. I'm kind of curious about that. And by the way, this this uh, video will probably be about a half hour long, like most of my videos in this series. Let me see something. Oops. Didn't need that fire flower. And then it's up there. I don't know. I I'm not gonna spend much more time trying to find that first red coin. Sorry about that, but 
I want to feature the levels. Kind of don't want to play just Mario World. Let's try this one by uh, Sir Mike or Senior Mike 17 from the US, and this is called Pokey Dunes. It's a technical single player stage, and it says, Watch out for the Pokies. There's a course ID in case you guys want to play this. This isn't a Super Mario Brothers 1 style. Nice. I was gonna say, I was hoping I would have got a uh, fire flower eventually. Just makes dealing with the pokies a little bit more manageable. Whoa! That was kind of awkward. Really, there was really no reason to kill those piranha plants, but I figured I'd kill them anyway. Hope that comes back. Oh, come on! Oops. Yeah, I'm glad I did the reset doors because they didn't come back and... And that is the end of the stage already! Kind of a short level. It wasn't bad. Kinda wish it was a tad bit longer, but I'm not gonna hate on it. Go, go gonna go ahead and give it a heart. Okay, let's see what else we can play. Let's try this one by J Lopez, seventeen ninety four from the U.S. and this is called. 3-1, the aridity of the Pokies. It's a standard single-player stage, and it's... Pokies may look friendly, but they are dangerous. Avoid them. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. And this is in the new Super Mario Brothers U style. I should play some more new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe off-camera. I haven't touched it in a while. You know, come, come to think of it, I think the only time I've played as Mario in Mario Maker 2 on my channel is during story mode. And I think you pretty much have to play as Mario on that. Okay, no fire flower. That's kind of a bummer, but I, th I suppose that would make this level too easy if it was a fire flower. Okay, looks like I need to find a key. 
And it looks like the key's down this pipe. Uh... Really? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, this is pinball! Okay! Gotcha! Okay, I was kind of confused there. Okay, checkpoint. Ooh! Acorn suit. Just get all the goodies here because they're here. That was stupid. I lost my acorn suit. Yeah, that was dumb. Maybe I'll get an another something here. Yep. Whoa. Almost lost it there again. Good job, thank you. Choose. I'll choose the one in the middle. That's pretty cool, I like that concept. So depending on what pipe you choose, you get to whether or not you make it to the top of the flagpole. Very cool, I like that stage. Let me just take a drink here real quick. Let's try this one. Well, this is another level by J. Lopez, 1794. Let's try this out. And it's 3-2 Nest of Desert Ants. It's a themed technical stage and it's ants are dangerous and at the same time harmless. Allies or enemies? There's the course I think because you guys want to play this. And then after this, I'm going to try to find a Super Mario Bros. 3 style level. I've always liked that gimmick. It's simple, but it's, it provides a decent enough challenge.
Just keep on bouncing on the, the ant here while we cross this spiked area. Very much akin to 4-1 in 3D World. This one. Nice! And I get a boomerang flower, but for how long? It says desert. Oh, come on! I hope I get another boomerang flower. Probably not, though. I probably blew my chance at it. Yeah, I probably blew my shot at it. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and just kill myself just because I want my boomerang flower. Because that was BS how I lost it. Yeah, I'm not finishing with our boomerang flower. Yeah, that was a garbage way to lose it, if I'm being honest. Say the boomerang should uh, uh, the boomerang should take care of these ants. I mean, they did in 3D world. Nice. Great. Checkpoint hype. Boss. This isn't annoying. Go ahead and go through here. And I'm guessing this is gonna say well done. But thank you. Choose. Okay, where's the I'm gonna go last one this time. that I like that concept and I, most importantly I got the finish as boomerang Mario which is awesome you can see I'm still having issues with my come on I'm still having issues with my uh, pro controller with my left analog stick let me take a drink and I'm gonna see if I can find a Mario Brothers 3 I want to play at least two more levels before I end the video
me see. See, there are Mario Bros. 3 levels, but they're all speedrun stages. I don't want to do speedrun stage. Mm. Let's try this one by Ace Dragon from the US, and this is Big Boot Minigame. It's a puzzle solving short and sweet stage, and it's test your skills on this level. Have fun. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. Not really fun of pu puzzle solving stages, but let's see how this one is. Says go. Gotta do this. One more time. Nice. Okay, checkpoint height. And there's a stiletto. to stomp on these. Yep. Come on, let me... No! Oh, that would have disappeared on me. I would not have been happy. <laughs> okay, we got a boss now. We don't lose the boot as long as we don't run into him. All the coins? Oh! I think we're supposed to smash through these. There we go. Nice! Nice stage! I like that! Go ahead and like that. Let's go back up here because there was another one that... Let's try this one by Blue Yoshi. This may or may not be my last level in this video, but we'll try it anyways. And this is called Pyramid of Puzzles. It's a puzzle-solving single-player stage and it's Four tricky puzzles, one checkpoint, good luck, have fun. There's a course ID, in case you guys want to check this out. Oh. I see what I had to do there. I see what I have to do here. Not hard once I figure it out. <laughs> yeah, not too difficult once I actually use my brain. Okay, we can go back over here and we can throw all these frozen coins. One of the most underutilized assets in this game, in my opinion. I know I keep on saying that, but that's how I feel about it. There we go.
Okay, I need to figure out how to do this now. Oh, I see. I'm stupid. Got to do that. Okay, we need this. Get rid of you. Nice. Okay, no, we no longer need you. We just need you. Okay, two puzzles solved. Oh, I needed my sp I needed the spring. Okay. Okay, we have to go back and get the spring, which I didn't realize that. Yeah, I didn't know we had to take it with us. I mean, that's what that icon means in the middle. Okay, there's the one checkpoint, which means we have two puzzles left to solve. This will be my last level, by the way. Because I don't know how long it's going to take me to solve these puzzles. Okay, I can't go over there right now. Quackadoodle. Okay, let's solve this. How am I supposed to get that? How am I supposed to get the, uh... Watch a minute, Chica. How am I supposed to get a... Oh! I see. Gotcha. you down here and I'll give me access to the door okay one last puzzle and this should be it hmm. okay what does this do for me okay there's a spring Okay, let's 
go ahead and do this. And I'm running out of time. Oh. Okay, I need to hurry up here. Nice! Pretty cool stage! So that's a pretty cool stage to finish this video off on, too. But yeah, that wasn't too, too, too terrible. As you, as you can see, there, it took me over seven minutes to complete this, but... That wasn't too terribly bad. I enjoyed that one. And with that, I'm going to end things off here. I will be making another one of these videos on a couple days from now, which will be Tuesday. And I'm not just going to say which character I'll be playing as or what style I'll be, but I'll leave that as a surprise for you guys. And next time I see you guys... Like I just said, we'll be a couple days from now, so hopefully you guys enjoying this little change that I'm making to uh, this little set of um, videos that I'm making to, for this particular series. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.